what's going on there YouTube and welcome to fresh comic stories guys this is the channel where we basically sit down and cover different kinds of comic book stories now guys today we're gonna go back to DC Comics and we're gonna pick up with Red Hood number 26 and number 27 and the reason why is because guys the Red Hood in the first 25 books of the Red Hood current run he had a team but the thing is though guys he has now lost that team but the thing is though guys he had also got kicked out of the Bat family for shooting the Penguin and so the big question is though now what does the Red Hood do after being kicked out of the Bat family well guys that is why we're gonna cover Red Hood number 26 and number 27 because this does give us the story of the Red Hood after being kicked out of the Bat family guys I do hope you enjoy and if you do please hit that like and also subscribe for more comic book stories but guys let's dive into Red Hood number 26 and number 27 now guys to begin our story we do pick up with Jason Todd aka the Red Hood right now on a public bus because right now guys he is getting a bus ride to a unknown location now the thing is though you do have the bus driver try to communicate with Jason Todd because they are the only two people on the bus and it's kind of getting a little boring now the thing is though guys while the bus driver is trying to talk to Jason Todd you do have Jason Todd tell the bus driver to stop because he sees somebody in the middle of the road now the thing is though guys you do have the bus driver open up the door so Jason Todd can go get the young lady out of the middle of the road and bring her back onto the bus now the thing is though guys you do have the young lady tell them who she is and she says her name is Melissa Mitchell and the thing is she is a FBI agent her and her partner were going after a monster because the local police were able to get their hands on this monster the thing is something went wrong with the transfer because my partner got shot and the monster sent men after me and shot me but I got away luckily but the thing is though those men will come after me to kill me so you guys should just leave me alone now after she tells them her story of course the men who were after her they do surround the whole bus and they do tell Jason Todd and the bus driver to hand over the young lady now you do have Jason Todd walk out the bus and he goes up to the crowd of men and he's kind of like listen you guys think that I am going to let y'all take this young lady and possibly kill her because she was trying to stop you guys from doing bad things now nah, man let me tell you who I am and you have Jason Todd go to work I mean he starts killing every single one of these men in different ways like he's making sure that these men do not get the chance to see another day now the thing is though guys after getting like a few pages of Jason Todd just going to work on these guys you do have Jason Todd go back to the bus and he continues to talk to the young lady and he tells the young lady that I know you're here going after a certain drug ring because this drug ring is going by the name the underlife and the thing is I have been after this drug ring for the past few months and so right now with you being here that lets me know that I am close to this drug ring which means I need to go to work and so you have Jason Todd put on his red hood mask now as soon as he puts on his mask of course Melissa Mitchell knows who he is because of course she saw Gotham News of the Red Hood shooting the penguin but the thing is though you have Jason Todd say you are not going to shoot me because one I just I just saved your life but two because honestly I'm the best chance you got to stop these men from coming after you now we do jump over to a random setting 
and we do pick up with the mobster that the FBI agent was going after. The thing is though guys, we come to find out that the mobster had paid the cops out and that's why the transfer went bad because the cops are working for the mobsters. Now the thing is though guys, while you have the mobster and the cops talking about their payday and everything, of course you do have Jason Todd busts through the windows and once again though guys, he starts to go to work on these men. He's kind of like, I'm here to make sure you guys do not see another day. Now of course, before the Red Hood is able to kill every single man off, you do have the Red Hood as the cop a little bit of information about what in the world is going on because you do have the red hood tell us that weeks ago the underlife were a bunch of nobodies but out of nowhere the underlife has become one of the most popular drug rings in america and so you have jason todd kind of like listen i know the underlife paid you off and if they did well guess what you are going to tell me every single piece of information you know and if you don't well hey i'm going to kill you and if you do well hey they're going to kill you so either way you're going to die now we do jump over to the red hood visiting melissa once again the fbi agent but this time at a hospital now the thing is though of course this is the red hood handing things over to her because again guys remember the monster we saw from earlier killed her partner and so right now he is handing things over to her that used to belong to her partner now the thing is though you do have melissa as red hood listen i do know that you're a bad guy i know you shot the penguin but honestly i feel like i need your help on this because the underlife were a bunch of nobodies and now they're everywhere and the thing is you have red hood tell her no i can't help you because if i do help you well honestly i'll make things worse but i only came here to hand your partner things and now i'm going to leave and you have the red hood leave her in her hospital bed now guys, we do jump over to a random diner. And the thing is though guys, we do pick up with Jason Todd once again. But this time though guys, Jason Todd is at this diner as a way to gather more information about the underlife. Because thing is though guys, while he's at this diner, he is watching this random man hit on the waitress. And the thing is though, while he is trying to get the waitress number, Jason Todd does walk over, sit next to the man, and he starts to talk to the man. Now the thing is though guys, while he is talking to this man, you do have Jason Todd tell him, listen, I do know that you work for Underlife, and I do know right now that you are holding a large amount of medical equipment in the back of your truck. So you have two options, you can one, go ahead and tell me who is the underlife, who is the big boss of the underlife, or two, I'm going to beat the crap out of you, and then you're going to tell me what, sorry, I can't talk, then you're going to tell me more information about the underlife. Now, the thing is though, of course, you do have this man try to fight against Jason Todd, which does start a huge fight between Jason Todd and all the men in that diner. Now the thing is though guys, Jason Todd is able at first to defeat every single man at this diner. The thing is though, one of the men were about to defeat Jason Todd himself because apparently he overpowered Jason Todd. The thing is though, right when it seems like Jason Todd is about to get knocked out, out of nowhere, the man who is going to knock out Jason Todd gets knocked out himself by Bruce Wayne. Now guys, I do want to mention this real quick. The second half of this story does take place right in the middle of Heroes in Crisis. And so guys, the reason why Bruce Wayne is here is to inform Jason Todd that Roy Harper is dead, AKA Arsenal. 
Guys, remember, back in Heroes in Crisis number one, it was told to us that a bunch of superheroes died, but Arsenal was one of those heroes who died. And so right now, you have Bruce Wayne being like a father to Jason Todd, because even though Jason Todd did shoot the Penguin and basically got kicked out of Gotham, Batman still looks at Jason Todd as his son just the bad one family. Now you do have Batman kind of tell Jason Todd, listen, you did not kill the penguin. Even though you did shoot him, he still survived. And so really you are not kicked out of the Bat family. But I do understand that you do not want to come back to Gotham because you think you're better outside of Gotham. But I did want to come here and talk to you and tell you two things. Your best friend is dead, but also, I still care for you. No matter whatever happens, you are still like a son to me. And I will never, ever let that go. I will never give you up. And so guys, this is kind of like Batman just being a good father towards Jason Todd. Now, you also have Jason Todd kind of walk away and he does pull out his cell phone out and the thing is though he does leave one last voicemail on roy harper's phone but this is kind of like jason todd saying goodbye to his best friend because he knows that roy harper will never ever hear that phone that phone message and so it's kind of him saying goodbye to a friend that he was really close to because guys when it came to the new 52 and dc rebirth Jason Todd and Arsenal were like two peas in a pod. Matter of fact, guys, in the original Red Hood and the Outlaws, um, Arsenal, Starfire, and Jason Todd were on a team together. But the thing is though, guys, this is Jason Todd just saying goodbye to his best friend. Now, we do jump over to a new city called Appleton and I really hope I pronounced that name correctly. But the thing is though, guys, you do have Jason Todd arrive in this small city. And the thing is though, everybody in this city seems very happy that he's here. Like wherever he goes to, he gets greeted with smiles and hugs and high fives and everything, but it's him being welcomed into the city. The thing is though, of course, you do have Jason Todd walk up to this random hotel room books a room but as soon as he books the room he tells us the readers that this is a great small town but it's going to be a shame when I destroy this town from the inside out meaning that he is here to bring this town to the ground but guys I am going to go ahead and end today's video please leave me a like down below also subscribe for more comic book stories in the near future also any suggestions on books i should read well let me know in the comments below because you never know your suggestion could be a future video down the road but guys i'm out of here and i'll see y'all the next comic book video later guys